And so all I have to ask you guys is, is if you didn't finish it, does that tell me that you don't really want it? And if you don't really want it, what are we doing here? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What's the expectations with results based on your 30-day your challenge and your 90-day action plan? So how long ago did you tell them to start the 90-day start the action plan? Six months. <laughs> okay, and nobody finished it out of tens of agents? Nope. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I'm sure everybody has their own story and their own, you know, excuses and their own reasons, their own problems and all that good stuff. So I'm sure everybody's story is a little different of what happened, why they're not doing it, um, you know, so on and so forth. I mean, you got to understand, uh, there's like less than 1% of people who get where I am in the industry, you know. Um, and so when you look at a group of 100 agents, you know, less than one of you <laughs> is actually going to do what it actually takes to get where somebody like myself is in the industry. And so you got to you got to say to yourself, am I going to be that less than 1%, you know? Um, it's pretty rare. I mean, less than 1% is really rare. Um, I think as far as not seeing results, I think you need to start trying to figure out what you base results on. Like, what exactly is a result? Okay, because I think what what your agents are doing is, is they're saying, I didn't get any closings, I didn't get any listings. And that's literally like not even, that. that's such a small part. I know that's how you pay your bills, but if you're new in the industry, and you're not closing any deals, you should have a job paying your bills already. You know, real estate shouldn't be, if you're not making any closings, then you shouldn't be dependent on real estate to pay your bills. So you need to have a source of income already in place, paying your bills while you're doing real estate on the side until you make your side hustle your main hustle. So as far as not seeing results, like the result, the the closing, the listings, all that, that's a, that's a direct result of your actions that you're putting in. Okay, now when I make a cold calling session and I call 200 people and, you know, 30 of them pick up and I actually talk to, you know, 18 people over the course of two hours, three hours, whatever the case may be, and out of those 18 people, if I talk to four of those people who I have a really good, strong connection with, okay, that's a huge win. If you do that every day for a year, okay, if you pick up four new prospects every day, that's 20 in a week. Okay, we're talking about 80 in a month, that's almost 900 in a year. Okay, so 900 people, property owners that own the exact type of property you wanna sell, um, you know, that had a, an incredible conversation with you, gave the, you their contact information, said stay in touch, we're just not ready yet. A couple of them, if you do that for a whole year, you're gonna run into so many people that wanna do deals now, you're gonna close deals. But let's take that out of the equation. Let's say you don't close any deals, you keep your main job, this is your side hustle, and you end up with 900 people who know who you are and now are getting a weekly email or however you're building your personal brand after you make these contacts. See, that's another thing. You know, once you make the contacts, how are we building our personal brand from that point? What are we doing on a consistent basis to stay in front of these people that we have these incredible conversations with? You know, there's a lot of questions I have for your agents. Like you gotta see long, long game here. Like you gotta see the big picture. If you if you pick up four, okay, let's say you pick up two a day, two a day. You spend half of your day every day just calling, whatever you do. And you pick up, let's say you're working a full-time job, you don't have time to uh, make calls, you make one four-hour to five-hour call session on your day off, and then every other day while you're working, like on your lunch break, you actually met like two people, you know, out and about for lunch, or, you know, after work, you know, or you made a couple calls. Say you talk to two people a day, five days a week, you know, that's gonna be 40 people, you're gonna be, have close to 500 people at the end of the year that you're building your brand with. You tell me that's not powerful and that's not a result? Like that's a huge result because everything's focused around your database. Like your database is your business and people that know who you are and trust you and see that you're consistent with your personal branding. Like that, that personal branding, that weekly email is like, con the consistency of it shows how dependable I am, hardworking, knowledgeable. Like they're slowly understanding who I am through that. If you just talk to them one time, you don't know anything behind it, they're gonna forget you the next day. You know, but if you have this consistent content coming through, 
you know, they're, they're getting to know you on this real, I mean, it's kind of an intimate level. Like they're really, they're really getting to know you. And then all of a sudden, boom, a year and a half in, they're ready to buy or sell something. And by the way, during that year and a half, they weren't ready. They referred two people to you because they saw how hard you were working. Like you cannot look at the result like of the closing or the listing and say, oh, because I didn't get that, I'm not making any progress. Like when you make a call session and you talk to those two people and that adds up to 500 people over a year, great. You know, that that's good. Another part of it is, is the, the, the level, your skill level of communicating. Like every call session you make, you get just a little bit better of learning how to talk to people, how to communicate, the tone of your voice, speed of your voice, you know, making people feel comfortable with you, showing them that you care, you know, making some mistakes, learning from those, like it's, it's incredibly powerful, you know, like, you know, building the knowledge and skills from experience is worth way more than a million dollars. Like if you, if you were to make calls for like two or three years, the skills that you develop of those two or three years are, is worth millions to you, millions in real dollars, because you can take that skill and you can go make millions. But you're just saying, oh, I didn't make a closing this month. So this, this doesn't work, you know? When it took me eight months to make my first sale. I mean, it, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's hard for me, you know? And like, I wanna be harsh, because if you have a group of people who started the 90 days and didn't finish the 90 days, knowing that this is the path to make it sell in 100 properties a year, and at the end of the 90 days, I email Ricky and we get on a one-on-one -on -one coaching call, and they still don't complete this, like when you complete it, you, it tells me that you're willing to put the work in to get to a million dollars a year and it gives me permission to spend time with you for free one-on-one -on -one, to help you get there. But that's why I created the 90 days, to weed out the people who really don't want it. And so all I have to ask you guys is, is if you didn't finish it, does that tell me that you don't really want it? And if you don't really want it, what are we doing here? See what I'm saying? So. I mean, there's a lot of questions I think I would have, maybe for each agent kind of deal, you know, to see what the specific situations are, but it all boils down to what I just said. You either want it or you don't. Less than 1% want it enough to do what it takes to get there, and that's why I created it. So I, could, I, I do this for free. So I can't just call and talk to every single person. So creating the 90 days puts me in a situation where I can weed out the people who don't want to do the work and work with the people who do.